Hello kids, my name is Shalini Singh. I am here again today with the second part of the chapter, My Name. So kids, I know you have enjoyed this story a lot. So now, let me take your test to know how much you have learned from the story. So here are some words given. The words are his, do you, it, my, one, when, about. Do you remember these words from the story? Hmm? These are called sight words because these words are very commonly used words that anyone can recognize easily just by looking at them. Okay kids, you know what? I love learning new things. Why? Because it adds to our knowledge. And I'm sure that you also love learning new things, right? So why not learn some new words taken from the story? Ready? Words are Little Ant Shade Deer Grass Wind Remembered Alright kids, so you remember everything about the story, my name, right? Okay. But how do I know? Hmm, there is a way. I shall ask a few questions and if you answer them correctly, then it means you remember the story. Yay! Question number one. How did the fly find his name? Question number two. If you forgot your name, whom would you ask? Think about the story and answer. Help children find the meanings of their names as it is related to their identity. Kids, have you ever played blindfold? What? Yes. Okay. So how do you identify someone in that play without seeing? By the sounds they make. Right? So it means we can not only learn by speaking or reading or writing but also by listening and observing. So what you have to do is, you have to go to the school garden or ground. Sit down under a tree, close your eyes, sit quietly and listen. What do you hear? Can you recognize the sounds? Discuss everything you experienced with your teacher and your classmates. in which we'll do the sound recognition by which you have to close your eyes all of you close your eyes good now you have to listen the sound Now you can hear the sound? Yes? yes now open your eyes. Can you hear the sound? Yes ma'am. Dipti, you tell me what sound you have heard. I'm a horn, but yes. bird traffic. Very good. Arna, what sound you have heard? Ma'am, I have heard the birds chirping and I also heard the air going through the leaves. Very good. You Shivangi? Ma'am, aeroplane and bus and traffic sound. Very good. Aeroplane, bird and traffic sound. Tina, what sound you have heard? Kudo. So, you have enjoyed the activity today? Yes ma'am. You have heard the sound of different things? Yes ma'am. Like vehicles, leaves, air, birds, insects, right? Yes ma'am. Hear the sound from our ears. Not by seeing only, we can recognize the thing by hearing the sound also. Understood? Yes, yes ma'am. Isn't it interesting? Hmm? You must have experienced different types of animals and birds making different types of sounds. Can you recall those sounds? And call like a crow? Ah, ah. Or 
chirp like a sparrow. Or roar like a lion. <coughs> Meow like a cat. Meow. Buzz like a bee. <coughs> quack like a duck. Quack, quack, quack. You practice all these sounds. Now kids, coming back to our story again to check whether you remember their story or not. So tell me. Who forgot his name? The dash forgot his name. Think about the story and write your answer. And tell me, what is your name? Hope you haven't forgotten. If yes, then ask your family members. And now tell me, when the fly forgot his name, who all did the fly ask? Come on, you know the answer. <laughs> Just recall the story. Okay. So now, let's do some fun activity. Here are some incomplete sentences from the story, My Name. Let's complete them with the help of Help Box. Words given in the Help Box are Leaf, Tree, Grass, Cow, Fly and the sentences are 1. The ant said, oh, I don't know. You may ask the dash I climb. 2. The tree said, I don't know. You may ask the dash sleeping in my shade. 3. The cow said, mm, I don't know. You may ask the dash I eat. 4. The grass said, hmm, I don't know. You may ask the dash fallen on me. 5. Seeing the leaf dash, the fly remembered his name. Wow! I know all the answers. And how about you? You know too? Then do it. Kids, there is a story again for you. But this story is incomplete and you have to complete it. How? I'll tell you. Can you see the picture of a leaf in the story? Say the words give me when you see the leaf to complete the story. Very simple. For example, a cat said to a cow, please dash. Now, here is a picture of a leaf. And what you have to write here in place of leaf, give me. So the answer would be, a cat said to a cow, please give me some milk. Likewise, you have to complete other sentences too. What will you, then the picture of a leaf, dash, ask the cow. Will you, then the picture of a leaf, dash, grass. 3. I have no grass, said the cat. 4. Will you, then, the picture of a leaf, dash, water, asked the cow. 5. I have no water, said the cat. But I will say thank you if you, then, the picture of a leaf, dash, milk. 6. Good said the cow. Then I will give you milk. Now write the words give me next to the leaf. Kids, do you know my name? My name is Shalini. Do you know the meaning of my name? <laughs> meaning of name sounds strange, right? But yes, every name has a meaning. The meaning of my name is polite, humble, do you know the meaning of your name? If yes, then good. If not, then ask your family members and tell it to the class. Children, you love the colourful pictures, right? So, here are some beautiful pictures and colourful pictures for you. Identify and read the words given below them. Okay kids, you have identified the pictures and read the words too. 
So, now write the sentences using the words given in the last activity. For example, 1. Rohit has a blue blanket. Likewise, you have to write two other sentences. So kids, now it's time for you to recall the story and enjoy doing these fun activities with your family and friends and share your experiences with your teachers. All right? And now it's time for me to say bye-bye as I have to get another interesting fun session for you very soon. Till then, have fun and do learn. Bye-bye.